So we're interested in how the brain takes in uh, mostly visual and auditory, sometimes somatosensory signals, and uses those to guide behavior. And we can do all different kinds of manipulations, put vision and audition in conflict, maybe make one of them more reliable than the other. And by studying these kinds of decisions, we figure out how the brain takes in incoming sensory signals and uses those to drive movements. But in recent years, the field has really exploded because we're able to capture data in a, in a totally different way than we used to be. So we can, we can measure animals' behavior using high-speed video and analyze it in really clever ways in, in a manner we were never able to do so before. And I think moreover, we're able to measure neural activity of many, 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 many individual neurons simultaneously. So all of a sudden we have a ton of behavioral data. We have a ton of neural data and we have to find a way to put those two together to understand how that neural data drives the behavior. And that process of taking in sensory signals is one that's disrupted in many different cognitive disorders. Most of them really have some associated sensory aspect. So my hope is that by understanding how sensory processing works, how the brain takes in those signals and uses them, that we'll be able to, to, to figure out what goes wrong in those disorders.